It's been over six years since of the emergency, so we're now moving into the longer term. If we know that they're not potentially moving back into the foreseeable future, what do we need to do? We very much appreciate Australia Assist because they provide the, the specialty that UNHCR may need additional support on. So for example, this current one, where we have a WASH specialist who would come in and provide us with the, the assessments and the skills and the capacity building for our staff um, to know about what happens when you expand the current um, camp from an emergency into more of a, a longer term settlement. Going out day to day and carrying out physical assessments in terms of the sizing of tanks and the interactions of shelters with those tanks, the um, degradation of the uh, sanitation infrastructure over time really is what we're assessing. And then once the assessment is done to come up with a recommendation for upgrades or improvements that could happen in the Dummies One camp. He has looked at the quality of the infrastructure that has been built in the camp. Because most of the infrastructure were built during the emergency phase. So we didn't have really too much time to do a proper planning, a proper design. It's not likely that they will go back soon in Syria. So it means that the camp needs to be consolidated with good quality infrastructure. Changing this kind of sanitation is something great and interesting, by the way, not having the water on streets but pipes on the ground, it is something important and uh, we hope it's going to be even better than what we had at home. Yeah.